In this video, we will review detailed information on the following topics. The components of the Draeger PSS 4000 breathing apparatus set, including backplate, cylinder and face mask. Donning and use of the Draeger PSS 4000 breathing apparatus set. The Draeger PSS 4000 system, consisting of PSS 4000 backplate or space frame, professional carrying harness and pneumatics, full face mask, lung demand valve, breathing apparatus cylinder, options for electronic components such as the TX gauge and bodyguard 1500 ADSU pass device. The compressed air cylinders are available in a variety of options, including steel or carbon composite variants in both 200 and 300 bar nominal pressure. The nominal pressure can be read from the cylinder protocol or from the identification symbols. It should be noted that the available calculated duration is in relation to the capacity of the cylinder and not to the operating pressure. Depending on the PSS 4000 version selected, the lung demand valve can be equipped with a quick release coupling. The LDV with QRC is equipped with a safety mechanism. The LDV is connected to the medium pressure hose with a single move. Should there be a need to disconnect, double action security considerations are in place. The connector must be pushed in before the now movable locking ring can be pulled upwards to release. The red reset button, which is situated on the lung demand valves, serves to set up the LDV. You can open the air line by pressing the back side of the LDV. This allows an increase of air volume if required. The LDV should be connected in the designated lower middle area of the breathing apparatus face mask. To attach the cylinder to the back plate, place the back plate on a stable surface and extend the cylinder harness. Then attach the cylinder to the reducer on the back plate. To adjust the carrying harness, open the buckles of the waist belt and loosen all straps. Then put the backplate carrying harness on one shoulder first, followed by the other. Close the buckle of the waist belt and pull, ensuring the set sits comfortably on your hips. Finally, tighten the shoulder straps and fold the ends inwards if required. Extend the straps of the full face mask head harness. Place the chin part of the mask on your face, then gently push onto your face and adjust it by pulling the lower straps straight back first and pulling the upper straps afterwards. Ensure that the middle strap is centered at the top of your head. Reset the LDV by pressing the red button and then open the cylinder valve fully. Following correct fitting of the face mask, the LDV can then be connected to the face mask. Your first breath switches the LDV to the positive pressure mode. Breathe in and hold breath. Make sure that no air leaks or no leaking sound can be heard. Breathe out slowly. The used air is coming out through the exhalation valve port. Take the pneumatic gauge or the TX gauge device in one hand and close the cylinder valve. Breathe slowly while lowering the air pressure in the hoses. When the pressure is breathed down to 50 to 60 bar, the residual air warning should be activated. Breathe until the air in the system is completely used up. A vacuum will develop within the closed system and the mask is pressed against the face. Once the air is exhausted and the face mask seal is ensured, immediately open the cylinder valve and the airflow will be restored. Once pre-entry checks are complete, the system is ready for operational use. After use, reset the LDV via the red button. Then lift and pull forward on each of the bottom buckles of the facepiece straps. At the point at which the face seal is broken, 
Remove the face piece from the face. Close the cylinder valve fully. Press the center of the cover on the lung demand valve to release the residual pressure from the system. Release the tension on the waist belt straps and open the waist belt buckle. Lift the buckles on both shoulder pads to allow the adjusting straps to slide. Slide the left arm from the left hand shoulder pad and remove the equipment from the shoulders. Place the equipment down with care. The back plate, the straps and the pneumatic system should be cleaned with clean and lint-free cloths that are dipped into a disinfection solution. Don't dip the pneumatic system and the LDV in the solution.